Assalamu alaikum dear students. In my previous lecture, I gave you a brief introduction about the lesson, The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse by William Sarwell. Today, we will discuss the summary of this lesson. The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse, this story is about two poor Armenian boys. Aram and Murad. Aram and Murad, they were cousins. They belonged to garo Galenian tribe. garo Galenian tribe is an Armenian tribe. Their tribe was famous for trust and honesty. Aram, who is the narrator of this story, he was nine year old boy when the events of the story took place. So Aram was nine year old boy. As he was nine year old boy, the world was like a delightful and mysterious dream for him. Delightful and mysterious dream for him. His cousin Murad was considered crazy by everybody except him, except Aram. Murad came at four in the morning and woke up Aram by tapping on the window of Aram's room. It was summer with daybreak just around the corner. Aram jumped out of bed and looked out. He could not believe what he saw. His cousin Murad was sitting on a beautiful white horse. Murad asked Aram to be quick if he wanted to ride. Aram had always longed to ride a horse, but they were poor. They could not buy a horse. Their, their whole tribe was poverty stricken. Poverty stricken means suffering from extreme poverty. But they were famous for their honesty. They had never compromised with their honesty. They would not take advantage of anyone. Aram asked Murad, if he had stolen the horse, Murad called him out instead of answering. Aram was sure that the horse was stolen as both of them were crazy about riding horses. Now, to console himself in a childish manner, Aram thought that stealing a horse for a ride was not the same thing as stealing anything else like money. So after all, Murad was crazy about horses. He was not going to sell the horse, hence it was not stealing. So he tried to convince himself that it was not stealing at all. In a few moments, both of them, that is Aram and Murad, were having a wonderful time riding the horse. Murad started singing out of enjoy, out of excitement. So he started singing out of excitement and enjoyment. Murad was considered the natural inheritor of the crazy streak of their tribe. Natural inheritor. of the crazy streak streak here means an inherent quality so he was considered the natural inheritor of the crazy streak of their tribe before Murad Uncle Khosru
was considered crazy in the family. Uncle Khosro, he was an enormous man with black hair and large moustaches. And he was very furious in temper. He was so impatient and he was so irritable that he stopped anyone from talking by roaring. It is no harm. Pay no attention to it. So these were his pet words. So he would always repeat the same line. It is no harm. Pay no attention to it. Though Murad was considered as crazy, but his father, Mr. Zorab, was a practical man without having any crazy street. After enjoying the horse ride together, Murad wanted to ride the horse alone. He asked Aram to get down. Murad raced the horse across the fields and returned five minutes later. Now, Aram expressed his desire to ride alone. He leaped or jumped to the back of the horse, but the horse did not move. Murad asked him to kick in his muscles. Aram kicked into the muscles of the horse and it started running. Now, instead of running across the field, the horse ran into the vineyard and leaped over seven wilds before Aram fell. Vineyard is a piece of land where grapes are grown. Aram could not control the horse. The horse continued running. Murad came running down the road as he was worried about the horse. He shouted that they had to get the horse back. Both of them searched for the horse in different directions. It took half an hour for them to find the horse. Now in the next video, we shall discuss the remaining part of the story. Thank you.